Good morning. This is what we're going to be doing today. Installing the advanced chute system from Ballard Products. We've got it somewhat put together here. We're going to drill some holes. Coming to you from that Canadian Long Guy channel, bringing you installation of the advanced chute from Ballard Products onto the Z Master 6000 series Toro Mower. What can you order? Hey guys, so this is my dad's garage at Enduro. We got the Z Master 6000 out there to put on the advanced chute. And you see there the compressor in the corner. I got that one uh, for, I worked for free for about three cuts and I got that. So as you can see here, we're uh, drilling one of the first holes to put one of the bolts from the bottom up to be able to hold on the advanced chute housing. Uh, I showed you that we were using a little bit of oil just to put on the metal when we're drilling just to keep the heat down when we're, um, when we're getting the drill bit to bite in. We just don't want it to get too hot and break off. So. And uh, also, uh, at one point, I'm underneath just making sure that we're not, um, where it's getting through and it's, there's different, there's a baffle that it was close to in the first drill. And then um, the middle was completely clear. And then the one other end that I didn't record video, it, uh, there was a little bit of a plate where you can control the, um, how you want the cut for the baffle to open and close like more narrowly. And so uh, it kind of rubbed up against that plate that we'll, you could adjust that. So we just had to drill a little bit of that plate off just so the bolt could slide free. Uh, this, this wasn't a bad um, time doing this, but when we first were trying to figure out how this vent shoot went on, um, we tried to do it at my house. We didn't, in the box kind of said that you could do it very quickly and we didn't know at the first point if we had drilling holes or not, but maybe some select mowers you don't have to drill holes at all. Maybe they clip right and maybe it bolts right on to the existing deck. But definitely this um, Z Master needed three holes to put, to, uh, put on. And uh, I watched a couple YouTube videos from Bauer Products prior to uh, tackling this today. So that was very helpful. The first time I hadn't looked at those videos, I didn't realize that in the directions, the very bad directions with where to put bolts and everything, uh, did have not fine print to check out the YouTube video. So once watching that, it uh, made a lot more sense. And um, I'm very happy about that. Here's my dad jumping on the Z-Master after we are finished to give it uh, a little bit of a spin. Um, he was impressed with the speed is obviously so we got it installed the advanced chute system I got the lever here opens up got three bolts one there one there one there they kind of go underneath this one had a plate problem we had to kind of move around this is right close to the baffle and that one was completely clear so we kind of double bolted it so there's a bolt down at the bottom here just and then one at the top to give it more strength so it just won't break and uh yeah and uh pretty lined up it's a little bit higher a little bit lower here but um seeing videos online uh the holes are just to keep the airflow going anyway we'll sit up in here and show you when i'm on it so i'll be sitting back here it'll get a little bit take getting used to but I can just grab and it'll stay. See, it's like there's a spring right here, holds it really tight. So you can just be driving along most of the time with it open. And then uh, just change your grip, I think, I'll be doing and give it a little push and it's in there as well. So, anyways, I'll just back this. There we go, we back the truck up.
So as you can see, we got our grandstand way back there, weed whackers and some stuff on top. Then we got the Toro Titan right here. And we got um, way at the back corner, I kind of blocked it in, but there's my yard work snowblower at the very back. Hopefully I don't need that this year. And then we have um, the x 30 inch commercial. And we have a push mower, you can't really see on top of the Titan there. And then uh, we got our two power clear snowblowers right here. And we got our Power Max um, Toro Heavy Duty Commercial Snowblower, the 420cc. And then we got our uh, Zedmaster at the front here. And we don't have a lot of room left. I got to throw the X mark right here at the pits. And uh, yeah, so we're maxed out other than height. So I was thinking if, if um, like I said in the previous video, if I ever built like shelves or anything like that, maybe I could put some push mowers up above. But I guess like really getting anything off the ground doesn't give you much room. But yeah, so anyways, uh, I'm glad that went well today. I had to put three bolts in there to get that on there. And I'm going to be very excited to try it out in the, in the uh, new year. All right, guys. So we'll talk to you guys later. So make this short and sweet. So uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, um, just uh, consider doing that. And um, if you like the video, just click the like button and hit the notification notification bell so that you don't miss a video. We have uh, new videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So after this video, you will wait till Monday or go back and look to all the history of my videos that I've got on there. Oh, I just jumbled over my words there. Anyways, that's all for now. We'll talk to you guys later. Until then, take care. We'll see you on the next one. That was another Canadian YouTube video, eh? Hope you enjoy.